Welcome back to On The Brink, the show that explores the fine line between breakdown and breakthrough in the world of entrepreneurship. Every fortnight, we bring you insights from accomplished founders and industry leaders who have navigated the highs and lows of building their own ventures. This show is brought to you by Brink, and I'm Shailene. Today, we are joined by Ritesh, co-founder and early investor at, at XDC Network, an enterprise-grade layer one EVM-compatible blockchain. As a serial entrepreneur working on the ideation and development of a cloud hosting and a web infrastructure company, Ritesh's work has been recognized by the likes of Microsoft and BBC. Over the past 20 years, Ritesh has accumulated extensive experience in the fields of cloud hosting, cloud setup, and internet infrastructure. And he's now leveraging his experience at XDC Network in the areas of blockchain and protocol setup. So thank you so much for joining me today, Ritesh. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm fine. And thank you for having me here, Jen. Absolutely. We are so glad to have you. Without further ado, I'd love to ask you my first question, which is, how did it all start? What was the catalyst for founding XDC Network? And what was the mission you guys launched with? I was reading about the various trends. And mm. we realized more than 5 billion people are using internet and mobile phones. We come to a conclusion, let's do something around trade finance because more than 5 to 10 trillion worth of financing is not possible, especially for SME. So we started right. focusing around a very specific area, how we can leverage blockchain technology into trade finance. We realized there is a need of a layer one network blockchain, a good infrastructure where we can create our home. And we started realizing that time hardly one or two network was available, which used to support smart contract. And we started right. developing our own layer one network. So we realized that we came out with wonderful network where the transaction fee is almost minimum. Second, we reduce energy consumption by 99.5 percentage. I'm talking about very initial launch of existing network. Whenever we talk to institutions, they have very specific requirement. And so we started implementing all required elements with the network. And finally, we came out with the existing network, which has become very popular within the enterprise. We observed that even retail started using, including various use cases like deep in RWA. I call it more as a journey. We started with something small and now it's become very huge. We have more than 20 million XDC community members. They are supporting our network. We have presence all over the world. And we have large partners, including SBI. Like last week, Deutsche Telekom also came out with the partnership details where they are going to provide deep in infrastructures or uh, using XDC network. So basically it started with very small, but now it's become very big. It's basically requirement from the user, requirement from the customers, requirement from the institutions. And we just started implementing things uh, on the network. So that's why we came out with the existing network. And what I see is 5 billion people, they are going to use wallet. 5 billion mm. people, they are going to store their assets in NFT forms. So whatever you own, whether it's real estate, whether it's a stock, whether it's a bond, whether it's a commodity, it's going to be on a blockchain network. So there is a very superior network requirement. That's why we came out with the existing network and we are very strict around those areas. Mm. Fantastic. Congratulations on all the growth that you guys have experienced since your launch. In terms of this growth, I'm sure that because as the community of supporters and, and people that you have backing you guys and using XDC network has grown, has there been a lot of pivoting necessary on, on your guys' part? And if so, how has XDC evolved since the launch? Yeah, initially it was very new and that idea was not very much convincing to the larger institutions. But mm -hmm. finally, we are very clear that this is the need for the market and we will have a huge response from the communities. So we just directly, mm -hmm. rather than raising big amount from any institution, we started approaching like blockchain community, crypto communities. So we grown very organically with support from community members. So I can say anyone, they are standing anything, they will face a problem, but it's up to them how they come out from those problems. So we came out because community help us. Even today, we have very organic and very strong community supporting existing network. 
So I really always appreciate community members and we are here because of the community of XGC. Absolutely. So in terms of any challenges you guys have faced, would you say that would be your same response is that it, you've faced those challenges because of the community and gone through it because of that as well? Yeah, we face uh, challenges from the institution side initially, but I'm talking very specific about when we wanted to launch a layer one network. And the initial adoption was like, oh, we are already using some chain, why we should go for another one. So gradually they started also accepting XCC, but initially we got very good support from these retail community members. Phenomenal. That's definitely what you want in the beginning, especially when you're trying to pitch and prove the amazing capability of the platform. So in a competitive and evolving space like blockchain, how does XDC network aim to stand out and remain relevant? Could you speak a little bit about the unique value propositions you guys offer? So when we talk about a real world asset tokenization, it means you are tokenizing your bond, you are tokenizing your securities, you are tokenizing your stable assets, 50 to 60 trillion worth of uh, Real one itself going to be tokenized in next 10 years. So I see great potential. We are 100% very much relevant for the ecosystem side as well. XGC is a very vibrant ecosystem. Whether it's a developer's ecosystems or community's ecosystem, everybody they are supporting. So once you have a strong community, like you are always relevant. And if you are doing something wrong, they will come and say, look, you are not doing the right thing. This is the trend. You should follow this particular path. So... If whenever you are with the right loyal community members, you are always relevant to the market. It's all about how you are getting engaged with the community and how you take their feedback on a very positive manner. Absolutely. Yeah, it's fantastic how community driven this area is. So in terms of any other advice, I think what you just said is a great tip anyway, but do you have any other advice um, for Web3 startups who are trying to define their unique value propositions in this space. Yeah, I started my cloud journey when it was very new. Now everybody knows what is internet and what is cloud hosting. Now same thing has started with the blockchain network. So most of the entrepreneurs I meet personally, I try to tell them create some sustainable projects and it should solve some of the pinpoints of the users or customers. It should solve some problem and keep your uh, entire ecosystem sort of platform sustainable for long term. So these all parts required to keep in mind and they need to believe in themselves. They need to believe in their solution and create a sustainable project. That is what I can advise and don't go behind the hypes. Uh, crypto is more like a hype, like people, they just go behind hype. So just be grounded and keep working. Yeah. Like in any business, just be strategic, right? Web3 is not any different than that. So in facing all of these aspects, you have mentioned the importance of community. So building a thriving ecosystem is crucial. What initiatives or maybe strategies have you guys put in place at XDC Network to attract and support these quality projects? Partnership with Brink is one of the initiatives. So they help uh, all these startups give mentorship and knowledge because every day they are meeting new startups. They know what startups mistake what is the right part and at the same time they are in touch with us and we like to see hundreds of uh, platform building on XD. we want them to be sustainable not just around hype so they should build something very serious and they should also feel they are having a very serious career path with existing networks and bring will always support them whenever they require some mentorships or whenever they require some networking support they will always guide them and we're very glad that's uh, something you've um, engaged with us to do. Moving on to my next question, as an early stage venture capitalist, what are some key factors you look for when you are evaluating new projects? And how does XDC Network support the ecosystem in this regard? Many platforms, they spend millions of dollars just to build a platform. And we advise them go with a basic feature. So we required a strong business model behind every platform. We support from a tech side, but at the same time, business side, they should have the right choice and they should not spend unwanted money. So try to understand industry first. And when founders are very clear, this is the clear solution and this is the sustainable platform. 
we always select those people and provide ecosystem support. With XDC Network, having partnered with Brink, I'm just going to bring that back into the conversation. We recently announced that, of course, we're running the launch program, a 12-week Web3 Accelerator. So I know you already mentioned mentorship as one of the sort of values of working with an accelerator, but do you see any other value that you could tell us about in XDC partnering with Brink? Mentorship is always important for startup, but Brink is established within the region and they understand the local cultures. So Brink, they are very strong in this region, especially with the Asian community. They are locally well-established players. They already have ecosystems, already have good networking connections. So I see lots of value with the partnership with Brink and I'm very excited to see how our partnership goes, but I'm very positive about this partnership. Absolutely. And so are we. So with your vast experience in both cloud hosting and blockchain, what are some of your personal interests or areas within the blockchain space that excite you the most right now? I know that you mentioned that you don't like hype and jumping on all that, but despite that, do you have anything you can tell us? One big market is RWA, Real World Asset Tokenization. That's considered to be one of the big market right now. Second is DeFi. So say if you have invoice and you want to sell your invoice, you can always get funding on a DeFi platform. So DeFi also comes as a very exciting space for me. Third is infrastructure space, which is deep in uh, decentralized physical infrastructure, where you can set up a physical infrastructure like a partnership with uh, Deutsche Telekom. So they are going to set up physical infrastructures for the different projects. So I, I am very excited about these three things. And uh, I am very excited because I see a very huge opportunity. It's like open highway. We just have to run our car, nothing else. It's so exciting to think about, like you said, the potential that exists in this space. And we cannot wait to see how XDC Network and Brink influence that impact of this area. So my final question for you before we jump into the quick fire questions game is what is next for XDC Network? We are very excited about XDPost 2 and we are going through the audit and we got the highest rating from the security audit side. It will increase the security, it will increase more possibility of staking. So the infrastructure will support larger audience so they can able to stake their XDC and get certain yield out of the network itself. And whatever fees generated uh, from the transaction will be distributed between all master nodes. So I'm very excited about this XD. Wonderful. It's time for On The Brink's Quickfire question segment called Madness or Greatness, where we challenge our guests with a series of scenarios about the highs and lows of entrepreneurship. Number one, investing heavily in marketing before achieving product market fit. So oh, it's a, you heard it here. <laughs> <laughs> so it's always important to uh, see the good market uh, fit product, then they should go for my marketing budget. All right. Pivoting your business model based on short-term market trends. Every entrepreneur should look for a long-term trend. They have to make a strategy. Building a large community before having a finalized product. I think it's a great yes. test. As I mentioned earlier, community always helps uh, to build a good product. So whenever we are very confused what to do, what not to do about the specific task, we just post uh, with the community. They come out with very good solutions and very good suggestions. So it's always good to build a community first. Absolutely. It creates that trust too, which I'm sure is exactly what builds loyalty. So that's fantastic. Relying solely on your founding team for all strategic decisions. I think it's madness. We should always get with the right experts. Skipping comprehensive security audits to speed up the launch. It's a madness for, especially into blockchain space, you should always require proper yeah. audit even before you go live. Great. Thank you so much for your time, Ritesh. To find out more about XDC Network, visit shinfin.org. That's X-I-N-F-I-N.org. And to learn more about all the other amazing founders and mentors in Brink's ecosystem, head to Brink.io. And don't forget to subscribe and follow for the next episode of On the Brink, now available on YouTube and Spotify. And we'll see you next time. Thank you, Ritesh. Thank you for having me here. Thank you so much.